Hello everyone. So I wanted to do a quick share. I made these quilts recently. This is my first quilt right here. It is rather thick and I tried my best. So those of you who are quilters, please don't it, criticize too badly my first quilt. Then I did do a Team U order, which is back here. I found these at a garage sale and I wanted to do a quick share of Louise W Designs uh, Butterfly Digital Kit. Now I want to make something with it. I also did print it on antique paper from Amazon. So just a quick show. I thought the butterflies worked beautifully with the antique paper. So we're just going to do a quick flip through. Yeah, I just, this antique paper really brings out these, this butterfly design, which she did such a wonderful job with. So, and I am just doing this on my cell phone, so I apologize if it feels a little wobbly. I have been quite a bit busy, so... I found these pictures. I will be making a digital with these pictures, I'm sure, soon. But at this point, I haven't. And all of these are pictures of people who have lived in my hometown of Wisconsin Rapids. So, I think that's pretty cool, too. Found it at a home that somebody had obviously passed away and so big deal to find that all right and then I bought some washi tape on team you my first team you order but trying it. Masking tape is what it says, but it's washi tape. And it says deco paper. It's these pieces that look like they're, um, uh, I should have opened these beforehand. Yeah, there's no way of me opening it right now. So, but I thought that looked really cool. Now, this one I know I can open. It may take me a moment because ah, I'm doing this one handed. But, no, we're doing our big garage sale. I just got done shipping everything over to where the garage sale's at, and it's a very long process, but different stamps that are, I want to say, Alice in Wonderland themed, but I thought they were cute little stamps to have. Ah, sticking to my board here. Yeah, this is my cutting board for my quilting at the moment, and... It says scrapbook paper, but I did not expect it to be so tiny. Because I've been seeing these all over the place. So it's like one, two, and a half inches tall. And only one and a half inches wide. 
So, not too sure what to expect from this. I'm just going to flip it open. Oh, it's kind of like little washies. It's like vellum-like. So, we'll see how I use that. I'm not too sure. Let's go to the next one. I know I did order a little bit more vellum-like stuff just because. But this is... Uh, Eden Garden, 19 paper copies, but they're just like little pieces that you can use for collage or whatever. They are thicker paper though, which I did not expect that. I expected this to be more washy-like and the other one to be thicker. So, yeah. Trying to open one handed. Okay. It says handwritten letter time space record series. And it has 200 pieces. Let's see if I can open this one. I think this one's going to be a struggle to open. Yeah, I'm not even going to open it. We'll look at this. Quick. So it has ephemera pieces, pieces of paper, vellum, and all that jazz. And tags. Oh, sorry. I have to switch legs. I'm sitting on the floor. I think I had it backwards. Yeah. Cellophane. So it says Wall the Scroll Druggist and Anthropology. I just want to see. Okay, so it's like copy paper thin piece. Again, I'd open it up, but I don't want to open it up. It's too pretty. <laughs> I have a habit of that. When things are pretty, I don't want to open them all the way. All right. Keep going here. Again, this probably would work better if I went off and took the time to grab my camera holder but right now I don't have time for that so we're just gonna do again I it feels like I've been just doing stuff willy-nilly lately my time has been I'm doing this right before the trip like day of and I think you will watch this probably the next day but this is an Alice in Wonderland theme type idea, but I liked some of this stuff, not just the Alice in Wonderland stuff, so I didn't just do it for the Alice in Wonderland. Like the vintage flowers look. Going mad. Nice little ticket here. Again, more with the vintage flowers. And these are all just little stickers. I love the little girl. That doesn't seem Alice in Wonderland to me. Another Mad Hatter. Beautiful little girl. Alice's Evidence. A hair, a library thing here, 
entirely bonkers. Again, some of these I think I can use for other themes. Sometimes I believed as many as six impossible things before breakfast. Isn't that the truth? Out of us creators. All right, I'm just going to push that all off to the side now because I have more to show. Oh. Fragments. I think this is the vellum that I got. But again, I'm trying my hand at quilting too. So it, just because I make the quilt toppers normally for with you know scraps and that type of thing for my covers and I thought ooh wouldn't it be fun if I actually made one so it looks like this one's based off of World War II it is not vellum at least this side isn't there is a side with vellum, though. But again, I, I wanted to get some vellum pieces. Because I've learned when it comes down to, like, the Roxy's weekly challenge and stuff like that, I don't have any vellum <laughs> to do any of that stuff. So, these are window pieces. Let's see if I can open it. I know, I should not be having this much of a struggle with cellophane, but I am. Uh. This one's sticky. Very, very sticky. All right, I'm gonna face you towards this while I pull this stuff out because I just don't wanna wreck it. Okay. These are nice little window frame type ideas. I thought this was just interesting, fun little pieces. I'm hoping, well, next month my schedule's a little bit more clear, which will be nice. It isn't going to be as... Hard and difficult to find time to make videos. Oh my goodness. That's how I've been feeling though this month is like every time I try to do something, I just take two steps forward, one step back. <laughs> so, I mean, I admit some of these did not turn out the greatest looking, but overall I think they're really pretty and will be fun to use in like collage and projects tags journal cards and stuff uh, I think they'll be definitely a fun little additions so but hopefully again after or once June starts up. I do plan on trying to make more videos again. I know you guys, I have so many followers and I'm losing followers because I haven't been making videos, but I've been so again busy and I had this past week my vehicle die. My apartment was being inspected with my uh, craft area mess just like everything else because I've been literally being home for maybe one or two hours and then leaving to go do the next thing and I feel bad because again that's I have enough time to maybe do my dishes 
and get a little bit done before I have to go. And it just, I wasn't going to add on doing YouTube videos with that. I've been obsessed with losing weight, which I have. I went from 220 pounds to 189 since September. So, I mean, that's a lot of weight loss. And I'm trying to make sure I don't gain it back <laughs> at this point. My goal is to be at 175 pounds, and that's where my doctor said I have a year to lose a certain amount of weight, or the chances of me getting heart disease or diabetes is going to be extremely high. So I'm trying to take my health and keep my health to a good healthy amount that it needs to be at. And that means sometimes neglecting other things. But I am working on that and I'm hoping I can do a video more than likely of how the garage sale looks and everything else for you guys Tuesday, but if I don't have time, I don't have time. I don't always know what my time's going to look like until time happens. <laughs> so, again, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day or night, and I hope you will look at, I think I have over a thousand videos on YouTube here, so watch some enjoy. I mean, I have tutorial after tutorial sometimes with the envelope uh, ideas. And I mean, again, I have lots and lots of videos. And check out Louise W. Designs on Etsy. She is a wonderful lady. And one thing I do like about her digitals is they're affordable. They're not she isn't asking $15 for a digital kit. So, I mean, that for me, like I've bought some of her stuff. I'm not just a part of her design team. So this is where, you know, it does make a huge difference, especially with today's economy, uh, being able to get digital kits that are affordable right now. So I love you all. Have a great day or night. Bye.